It's with so much excitement that I'm giving a big thanks to Michaels for sponsoring today's video. Hey guys, how are you? I just wanted to say Happy New Year and I hope that you had a really great December and holiday season. More importantly, I hope that going into 2022, you're able to go into it with a breath of fresh air into your soul and a lightness for your heart. And that's honestly what I wish for all of you and that's what I wish for myself as well. 2022 is special for me because this is gonna be the first full year where I'm doing what I'm doing full time for the entire year. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing to spend 2022 with me as well. This week I wanted to start on a new project. My dining table we completed last year and I'm so pleased with it sitting at it now and I just love it. And I knew then and I know now that having art behind it is like what is missing and what will complete this area. Well, eh, almost complete this area. And so that's what I want to do today. Previously I had two really large picture frames here that were 30 by 48 and there were two of them. So now I either need two large picture frames or one really large art piece and I'm going to go with the large art piece. Now, this is actually a large wall and I've never worked on an art piece that is large enough to take up the size of this wall before. I wanna tackle it, I wanna try something new and I also wanna try something new in terms of using some different products to create texture. And I'm not a professional artist, obviously, but that doesn't mean that I can't try a new skill. So that's what I'm going to do today. I am going to head on over to Michael's to pick up some supplies. And I just wanna mention something else. I am so grateful to have Michael's as a sponsor and a partner for this video because Michael's is my dream sponsor. I remember going into my first Michael's when the Michael's in my hometown opened and it was like a dreamland. I couldn't believe the amount of creative options that were there and the amount of supplies that were there. And I still feel like that every time I go into Michael's. Michael's is the home for all crafters. I just can't believe that I'm working with them. I honestly can't. This is just like a complete dream for me. So thank you to Michael's for sponsoring this video. Thank you to you guys for allowing me to be here and allowing me to have Michael's as a sponsor. That's everything to me. So just wanted to take a moment of appreciation there. As I mentioned, going head on over to Michael's. Let's go, let's pick up some supplies. this canvas and you cannot tell how big this is but it is gigantic like it is the biggest canvas that they have and I want it assistant explain what you just explained you just got our canvas home yeah we went to drive with the trunk oh. <laughs> we broke it it's fine it's good it was an SUV but yeah thank you just look at how big this is. I almost can't believe it. Like, I am 5'8". If I lift this up, doesn't this seem right? I'm excited. Okay, I've always wanted some big statement tea art. And now we're gonna make it. So I mentioned before that what I wanna do for this art piece is create some really good depth and texture. And I wanted to do this using what would be the more correct products for longevity of an art piece. And I know that for the type of texture that I want, that modeling paste is going to be a really good product to use. So this is Artist Loft modeling paste, and I've never used this before, but from my research, this is a really good product because you can get some really good texture, but it also won't crack on you. It has really good longevity and it's meant for art. So I feel like this is going to be great to achieve some texture and depth. And so I also got a bunch of different paint 
um, bleached titanium, titanium white, and I also got this palette knife set which I've used once before, but I didn't bring it with me from Toronto, so I got a new one. I'm just super excited to get started on this, and I really do believe that Michaels is the number one spot for crafters. It just has everything you could ever want. And one thing that I absolutely love about Michaels and what they stand for is that they really care about the process of creating more so than just that end product that's just perfection. It's really about the process, and that's something for me I've really been trying to move towards psychologically for my myself because I think if you focus too much on the end product and too much on it being perfect sometimes it can be too hard to get started on it and it removes some of the fun about it I will link all the products that I use down below so if you want to make something like this go ahead and check out the link shop at Michaels or go in store and if you have a vision for some sort of art piece or decor piece that you'd like to make go to Michaels buy the products and get started on it it's a great way to start off the year so Let's get started. I'm ready. Are you ready? <laughs> Okay, so just as a little update here, I have all the modeling paste on the canvas. It took two full little containers of modeling paste, but it's on and it looks so cool already. I can already tell it's gonna be really, really nice. So just to kind of highlight what I did, I kind of varied the direction of how I was adding the modeling paste on to make it so that it wasn't a bunch of little strokes, if that makes sense. I did this section here in kind of more of a downward organic motion and then on this little side right here i did do more of like horizontal design with some downward strokes kind of built in i will give this a couple hours and i'll come back and see if it's dried that might be tomorrow though because i'm running out of daylight and as you know i like to film in the day so i might see you later today or i'll see you tomorrow to add some paint on this beautiful large statement canvas Good morning you guys it is such a nice day out it's like sunny and very green for some reason even though it's like fully like the winter <laughs> um, it's definitely cold out but it's nice in here super bright and it's just a good day I figure I would take the next step with my painting and I was a little undecided about what colors I wanted to go with, but I'm just gonna stick to what I initially wanted. So the modeling paste definitely added a lot of dimension and I'm going to just like further amplify the dimension using paint, I think. And then do one side white and beige and one side black and beige. <laughs> I don't know, but I'm gonna start. paint here. I don't know why I just held this vertically, first of all. The paint didn't move, but it still scared me, so I don't know why I did it. <laughs> I wanted to just mention something to you. Canvas paint is very different than craft paint. It's a lot thicker, it has more body, it goes on with more pigment, and I like it a lot better, so that's why I like to use that instead of craft paint. Craft paint um, is typically uh, like cheaper um, and more fluid, so I guess it probably has its perks as well, but for canvas painting, I really enjoy canvas paints, obviously. Anyway.
think I've accidentally done this whole section just mostly white. <laughs> but I kind of like it like that. But I want to add a little bit more contrast on one side. So I guess that's what I'll do. Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door So I've kind of learned here that what looks cool when you're putting the paint on is first of all to try and make sure that you don't show any brush marks. You're trying to let the underlying texture really show through. If you go in the same direction as the like where the paint knife would have gone, it just lays down better and looks more natural and you get less of the paint stroke marks. So that's what I would, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Just looking at you makes my whole world spin oh, You don't have to wake up yet oh, We can spend all day in bed This is so cool. I don't know how to explain it, but I'll give it a shot. You see how you can like, with the contrast on the black, you can kind of see like just little specks of the beige modeling paste underneath and it just looks so nice. This is like what I would have seen art wise at like a proper store, but I never knew how to create myself and now I know how and it's so cool. I'm so pleased with how this is going. <laughs> Hey guys, good morning. Today, as you can see, is like such a stunning day outside. It snowed overnight, so there's a little bit of snow. It's so sunny, the skies are blue. It is literally the idyllic winter day from my childhood. So I'm just like so pleased and so happy and I love looking at the windows. But another reason I'm happy is because I took a little peek at the painting and it's dried and it looks I'm very, very excited. The next step is obviously to hang it. So that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna hang it today. And then I'll show you it when it's all hung up. So let's go. So this is the back of the canvas and I was not sure how to hang it. So I watched a Martha Stewart video and she showed me how, obviously. In my little hardware kit, I had these little eyelet things and some wire. Let's see actually if this is big enough. Hope so, because that's all I have. <laughs>
actually hang it from the wall. This is drywall. I did a little test with my stud finder. So I'm gonna do a little hole with a nail and then I'm gonna use easy anchors and those are like the easiest way to hang things in drywall, hence the name easy anchors. You screw in, so you don't even need a drill, you screw in this little anchor and then you can just screw in the screws that it comes with it and hang your painting or whatever from the screw. They come with different maximum weight capacities. This one is 30 pounds, but I don't think this is heavier than 30 pounds, so I think we're good with just this. Shall we start? I love this method. It's the best, to be honest. There, we got the hole. Technically, you don't even need to do that hole. It's just for me, it's easier. So that's what I do. A little hack. Sometimes I've learned, you know, when you're not the strongest person, there's always a way to still do something, or usually, unless it's a sheet of MDF, which is insanely heavy, but usually there's a way to do something. Um, you just need little hacks along the way. So this is one of those hacks. If you were to just screw this from scratch, this is technically self-drilling, and my husband can do it, but I can't do it. So there you go. I know you're insanely close to me right now, but are you ready for the full reveal? Cause I'll take a step back and show you. Oh my goodness, you guys. This art piece, which is literally gigantic, like for reference, gigantic. This is the most statementy piece I've I've ever dreamed of making and I can't believe that I made it and I can't believe that in this video I have been transformed into an artist this I I created this piece of art what I can't this literally looks like you could get this at an art studio at an art gallery or at, in the very least at a proper store that sells decor so I am just so pleased with myself I'm so pleased that I was able to make this I went down this road not sure of how it would turn out and just trying to focus on the process, but the end result is also just something I'm so pleased with, so I'm so thankful that I had the opportunity to make this. Also, if I have one tip for you learning from this experience, because this piece definitely turned out different than my previous acrylic paintings that I tried a few years ago. And it is obviously one, to use texturizing product like the modeling paste, but two, use canvas paint. You'll get so much better quality when it goes onto a canvas. So I am so pleased to thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I'm just so ecstatic. I'm so pumped also that I hung this all by myself, especially after the struggle. I also want to say thank you so much to Michaels for partnering with me on this video and for making this possible. This is literally as as I mentioned, my dream. If you want to try out making something like this, I will definitely link all the products down below. So click on those links and go to the Michaels website or head into your local Michaels and see what inspires you and have fun creating. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for kicking off 2022 with me in this episode of Homemade Happy and I will see you next week. Bye.